Hello, this is Marvin for Practical Computer Science. We are going to be querying XML columns in uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Um, here's the use case, here's the scenario. You want to query certain values in XML nodes, but um, it's not so easy. Or you just want to extract some information from XMLs which are in... Uh, table columns so you'd want to maybe insert them into new tables that are easily easily queryable so i'm going to demonstrate that and i'm going to uh, show you some of the challenges in that okay so let's start we're just going to create our temporary table here uh, okay call it world um can have an id uh let's just make it a unique identifier guid global unique identifier uh, mm -hmm. unique identifier uh, set its default value uh, to uh, a new identifier like this let's just make this the primary key so we make sure we don't have duplicates um, what can you call it uh, person you can call it person and person is going to be our XML column. So, okay, let's insert into our uh, table variable uh, world uh, into world uh, person is the XML. Okay, now we're going to construct our XML here. Um, how can we put this? Let's say person a person has children and the person's children are listed. Let's say child. Uh huh. Person can have multiple children, of course. Uh, child. Let's say first name. Uh, let's say John. Okay, first name, uh, let's give it a uh, nickname, okay, nickname, Jon Snow, <laughs> okay, let's say this person has another child, uh, Raymond Reddington, okay, this concludes the children of this particular person. Okay. And then after we're done with this, let's just select uh, everything from world. Uh, just to demonstrate, uh, let's just see. Uh, XML passing, we probably, yeah, we didn't close this particular node. Yeah. As you can see here, here's our unique identifier. Here's our person XML. Uh, yeah. And uh, as you can see, if we run this again, we'll see the unique identifier automatically change into a unique value, which will always be unique. Um, yeah. So that's always cool. In some cases, it's better than using uh, an, uh, an integer. Um, of course, in this case, we could have just said uh, uh, this is an int and identifier uh, uh, identity one one this would have just worked uh, the same way as well uh, identifier one one because some of you are actually uh, using this so yeah this works as well and will create a unique identifier for each and every time we create a new row okay we're just gonna revert back uh, to our original implementation which still works um okay now here's where the trick is let's say you want the second child here and that child you want to use uh let's say a counter to retrieve uh let's say mm -hmm, declare counter is an integer um let's say of course we can just say um person dot uh, value 
and then we can say uh, person uh, select the child would call children and select the child not call child and say one and then the data type for the returned value let's say it's an is a string of length 100 um, okay there seems to be an error here we didn't close the parenthesis okay here's what it shows <clears throat> it shows uh, the child node but in a string format so what we want to retrieve is the first name here and then that's john now here's the trick let's say we want to retrieve the second child as well for us to retrieve the second child we we'll have to write two which does work but in some cases we might want to make it dynamic and use counter let's say counter was two uh we want to retrieve the second child one would logically think that uh this approach uh should work but it doesn't work because uh the value method actually expects a string literal rather than uh, a dynamic value uh, which poses uh, uh, an issue even if you put this in a variable called let's say xml or, or query and declare a query as varchar 100 or max equals to this it will still complain with the very same thing so yeah we we, we have an issue here uh, okay let's just do this make sure it's not a matter of syntax uh, as we can see same issue uh, let's do this mm -hmm. same issue must be a string literal rather than a dynamic string so we're going to revert back so that's the main issue so what we want is to iterate through all of the child uh, nodes inside the children uh, uh, sub node uh, okay so what we're going to do is select everything from world <coughs> and cross apply this is the syntax of the cross apply we select the column that we need that's the column that it, that's actually containing the xml and then we're going to iterate through the xml itself uh, so we're going to start at the root node uh, this shows that we're starting at the root node uh, the slash to say children I'm going to say child okay and we can actually just do this the asterisk just shows that we want to retrieve all of the children um, okay this looks proper and then we're going to give it a name we're going to say children and then the the the, the, the column itself will just call child okay so how we're going to use it in the select we're going to say children we're going to use children as if it was an alias for a table say children dot child uh, child is used as if it was an xml column and then we're going to query it uh, we can say either query or value one of the two uh, we're just going to use value here and if we want let's this ended in the children sub node so let's say uh when the first name for us to retrieve the first name we'll have to start a child so us saying uh, uh uh first name would actually give us the first name so what this will do is iterate through all of the children and then for each child uh show the child's first name uh, let's just execute it aha so that works as we would expect it to um, what we're gonna do next is uh, just iterate through all of them aha see now it iterates through all of them so we can get all of them we can even get other uh, uh, XML nodes from that uh, we're just gonna demonstrate that now Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. nickname okay and then you can easily insert these into a new table um, 
and uh, uh, this can be very useful uh, for you. Um, uh, let me just demonstrate that very quickly. Uh, let's say children table children. Let's say table children takes uh, first name. and nickname okay and then what we're gonna do here is uh, insert into that uh, table of ours and we're just gonna select the two uh, okay mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, gonna say first name gonna say nickname and then we're gonna do this and then we're just gonna select from this temporary table over here select all from the temporary table okay and here we go here's the temporary table all from the xml file that we created and that we uh, iterated through so that's the first part of it there are more advanced users and uh, there's also uh, performing this in my sql so in subsequent uh, tutorials, we'll be discussing those. Thank you very much. Please.